friends and welcome back to another episode. So today I would like to do a kind of a tribute, a thank you to Larisse Rame, who is the founder and kind of the chief creative officer at Bond Number no. 9. So it was literal. The address is number no. 9 Bond Street on Manhattan. She's of French birth and uh, she came here and she started her perfume company. Now, the reason I'm going there to, to credit Larisse Rame is this look, this iridescence. I just, I'm wearing these so I don't put thumbprints on the utensils and such. But this goes back to maybe the 1800s. It was in the firearms industry and it had this kind of, this was kind of called color case hardening. It was a process used to kind of treat guns, the metal in guns. Right, and we come to maybe like the 1970s and if if you're familiar with carnival glass, it's a beautiful iridescent type of glass. And even I think one of William Eggleston's photographs, one of his famous, is called Blue Vase on Table or something like that. And it looks like it looks like it was a piece of carnival glass. So my point is th this iridescence comes into fashion and out of fashion, into fashion and out of fashion. So let me walk you through this real quick. A couple of years ago, I was out shopping and I saw these scissors. Just love this, this rainbow. Let me let me give you a close up here, right? And this is going to be kind of a long video because it almost kind of has a hypnotic effect. If you just right, if you just groove right, like in the seventies, if if you just groove right, dig it and groove. Okay, so that that was a couple years ago. A couple of months ago, my wife and I were out and we saw this set of six drinking straws okay let me get the light okay, and if you up turning them right and they become iridescent you can see all the colors now i've read where these are titanium plated and there's a process i think it's called pvd or pdv or something that deposits the titanium onto the surface all right but we saw these drinking straws and they're metal right because we're getting away from plastic drinking straws and we're going to like metal so these are curved of course right so you can tell they take on the green and turn them right and they go through these stages and it's really kind of groovy okay so these are the drinking sauce and these are only a few dollars a few dollars for the scissors this set this set of six it again it came with three straight straws three curved straws I think these were like three dollars so 50 cents per each straw then we saw these, and these were sold as separate pieces. And we just thought these were beautiful, really. Okay, so the reason I'm going there to Larisse Rame is in her bond number nine, one of her bottles, or if you want to call it a perfume bottle or decanter or whatever, she came up with this, this iridescent bottle for bond number nine. Right, and it, it kind of caught on. So I think what I'm trying to get is the modern iteration of iridescence can be traced back to Larisse Rame reviving it for her bond number nine. It's really beautiful. So we got these again, it's just individual pieces. Okay. I'll just slowly let the light dance off of this so you can really kind of. Right, like I said, you can kind of groove and dig it, right? It's basically the same thing. Look at that, wow. That is really just gorgeous. So we liked it so much, long story short. So this is... We have a, a residence in the Philippines, of course. So these, are, this is going to stay for me because I'm just flying solo, and I just need a, a few pieces. But we liked it so much that we got this. And if you're interested in this, it's by Cambridge. The manufacturer is Cambridge, and it's called uh, Cranston. The model is this iridescent. It's called the Crescent, and it comes in a 20-piece. You get five, excuse me, four. You get five different pieces and four of each for a total of 20 pieces and let me just I've got a ceiling fan going so that's kind of cool adding to the effect a little bit and I'm just really digging this iridescence 
And again, we can thank Larice Rame for kind of bringing this back. And let me just, again, if you want to cut out, I totally understand. But I'm just going to spend a minute or two here just turning this. So if you want to stay with me and just groove with this light and groove with this iridescence, by all means, stay with me. And right, just drink it in. Because this is crazy. One last time. tripping on anything magic right <laughs> can you imagine back in the day if you were tripping on something and doing this you'd be like wow it would be kind of like a religious experience right whoa and I'm totally straight totally sober I'm not tripping on anything and this is okay can you imagine I'm not tripping on anything and this is still blowing my mind Okay, and again, I just, you know, we're just playing around, having some fun. And again, this is called Cambridge Cranston. These are available individually or in a set of 20. Uh, we got the drinking straws from either Marshalls or Ross. And these, I believe, were from Walmart, just some Walmart, you know, in the, in the office supply area. We got these scissors. But it's just cool that iridescence has made a return. And I think we can properly, uh, you know, credit or attribute this to Larisse Rame and her wonderful styles over at Bond Number 9. Okay, thank you. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If not, please give me a thumbs down. Oh, I shouldn't say please, <laughs> right? If you did not enjoy it, uh, feel free to give me a thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.